Hello everyone, I am Dr. K. Yur Desai from Mumbai. I completed my MD medicine earlier this year and I secured an All India rank of 72 in NEET SS 2024. Currently, I am pursuing DNB Rheumatology at PD Hinduja Hospital in Mumbai. This is my first YouTube video and the target audience for this is those who will be appearing for NEET SS 2025 in December this year and in general it is for everybody who will be giving the exam at a later date. In this video I will address a key concern of most NEET SS aspirants and that is is studying Harrison alone enough to secure a good rank in the exam. So for me it was. I had done Harrison reasonably well for my MD theory exams and in the two and a half months I had between my MD exam and the NEET exam, I had uh, revised Harrison system wise, I had made my own notes from Harrison and I had also given uh, grand tests and I also solved MCQs from uh, the preparation apps. This year's NEET SS was by far the toughest uh, NEET SS since the introduction of the new pattern three years ago. Uh, many people who took the exam felt that uh, it was not Harrison based and one could not do well in the exam by just studying Harrison but that is not true. As per my analysis, uh, 110 plus minus 5 questions out of the 150 questions in NEET SS 2024 were directly or indirectly from within the covers of Harrison. The problem is uh, a lot of the questions this time were from the nooks and corners of Harrison. So I will give you one example. There was a question on Sappho syndrome. So there was a case and the hint to the, the diagnosis was the uh, imaging sign. Okay, And the treatment was asked. Now Sappho syndrome it is the last part of this chapter on spondyloarthropathies. So very easy to miss. Okay and many questions were designed in a similar fashion so knowing that diagnosis was not enough you needed to know the treatment and also the second line treatment and other details so that was what made this exam really tough uh, you had to be thorough with Harrison to be able to answer uh, many of the questions okay uh, many of you would already be reading Harrison for your uh, final exams and I would strongly recommend sticking to that Try to get at least one revision of Harrison uh, done before uh, the NEET SS exam. A good way to revise Harrison would also be to solve MCQs. So many of these uh, apps have Harrison based MCQ modules. Okay, So solving that will help you revise Harrison and you will also get the practice of uh, MCQs. Now what is to be studied from Harrison? So you should do justice to all the systems. I cannot advise you to focus more on certain systems and a little less on the other systems because the exam is getting increasingly unpredictable uh, year after year. This time a subject like rheumatology had the maximum number of questions which nobody had expected. Next time it could be some other uh, system. Uh, same, the same goes for topics. Uh, there are very few repeat questions in NEET SS. So there is no point in uh, trying to second guess the examiner based on what has been tested in the previous years. Okay, But 70 to 80% of the questions will be Harrison based. There will be some very tough questions which nobody will be able to answer uh, and there will be some really common sense questions which you have to answer based on your experience. I mean they will not be given in any book. Only infectious diseases is one part uh, which I feel uh, uh, it's uh, better to solve MCUs and reading theory uh, because it's too vast in Harrison and uh, it's it's not worth studying each and every infection. You can't really go prepared for it. Okay, so uh, that's where uh, maybe solving MCUs is a uh, better option. About grand tests, uh, you should be giving grand tests uh, at a frequency of uh, once a week or once in ten days. Don't give too many grand tests also because that will just add to the panic and insecurity before the exam. Uh, one tip from my side would be to not miss the marrow grand tests because uh, for me and a lot of other candidates, the results of the marrow grand tests 
were similar to the results in the actual NEET SS exam. And I can't say the same about other apps. So do give them arrow GTs. Last but not the least, uh, I would just say that NEET, NEET SS is a much less competitive exam compared to NEET PG. All of you have given NEET PG and you know the ordeal of revising 19 subjects over and over again. So this is nothing compared to that. This exam just requires a few months of dedicated preparation. So I wish you all the best. You can reach out to me in case you have any doubts about your preparation. I have left my email ID with this uh, video. So hope to see you on the other side. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.